Today on Ninja Lab, we're going over the results of the qualifiers held at Warrior Sports, TA Fitness, Obstacle Warriors, Level Up, and the Movement Lab Training Grounds. That's the California one. Hello, my name is William, and I'm in a lot of pain. Anyway, let's get things started with the results for TA Fitness. In third place for the adult female division was Mary Layton. Mary was able to easily get through the first few obstacles of the course. However, when she went face to face with the Devil Steps, she lost her grip and went down on the course. In second place was Olivia Keys. Olivia was able to get further into the course, but when she was faced with the cannonball swing, she unfortunately couldn't make the transition from one cannonball to another, and she went down on the course. But the good news is that she qualifies for the World Championship in February. And in first place for the adult females was Casey Rothschild. Casey was able to go as deep as any of the men on the course. However, she ended up using a lot of time on the you're going to want that peg obstacle. And unfortunately, she timed out on the 10th obstacle, the floating monkey bars wall. In third place for the adult male division was Eric Mata. Eric was looking very solid on the course and even completed the you're gonna want that peg obstacle relatively quickly. However, while on the floating monkey bar wall, one of his handles gave out on him and he slipped right off the wall. In second place was Eli Chevalier. Eli was able to reach the final obstacle faster than Eric because he had a better technique on the you're gonna want that peg obstacle by using one foot on each side of the barrel. Unfortunately, when he attempted the final obstacle, the first handlebar slipped out immediately on him and he went down on the course. And in first place for the adult male division was Nolan LeJoy. No one was able to speed through most of the course, despite getting a little hung up on the cannonball swing. So he reached the final obstacle faster than anyone else, but just like everyone else who reached the obstacle, he slipped out of the cradle and fell on the course. But the good news is, he has 10 more points heading into the World Championship. The National Ninja League Season 5 World Championship is coming soon in February. Make sure you go to NationalNinja.com to look up the full schedule of the final qualifiers for the rest of the few months left. Now let's look at the results of the Level Up. In third place for the Adult Female Division was Dara DiPaolo. Dara did a good job early on at the gym that will be hosting Open Gym for our competitors at the World Championship this year. However, when she reached the up-for-grab Salmon Ladder, she could not maintain her grip and fell on the course. In second place was Julia Bainbridge. Julia was able to reach the up for grab salmon ladder faster than Dara did. However, she, just like Dara, was unable to maintain her grip. But because she was able to get there approximately 19 seconds faster, she earns 9 points. And in first place was the young Rachel Brown. Rachel was able to get four obstacles further than any other female on the course. Unfortunately, she was unable to maintain her grip on the cannonball hooks. 
Rachel is currently in second place in the overall standings for the adult female division. In third place for the adult male division was Kelly Alexander, who officially qualifies for the World Championship by finishing in third place. He had a very solid run throughout the entire course, and despite a little bit of trouble at the very last obstacle, he was able to complete the whole course at a time of 3 minutes and 51.84 seconds. In second place was Matthew Hall. The young Matthew was able to get through the course with the encouragement of his fellow peers in a time of 3 minutes and 29.14 seconds. He did very well on the course and had a sense of urgency towards the end. And in first place was Jason Coatson. Jason made no mistakes on the course and spent little time in between obstacles as he was able to cruise to the finish line with a time of 3 minutes and 19.14 seconds, earning him 10 more points on his standings for the season. It's now time for the comic question of the week. What ninja-related thing are you hoping to receive as a gift this holiday season? Let us know in the comments down below. Now let's take a look at the results of Movement Lab Ninja Training Grounds. For the adult female division, in second place was Christine Ahn. Christine was looking good throughout the first couple of obstacles, but unfortunately with the slackline long jump, her foot landed out of bounds and she was disqualified. And in first place for the adult females was Katie Lanza. Katie had an amazing save on the slackline long jump, barely avoiding the same mistake Christine made. However, she was able to complete the obstacle and go a little bit further up until the transfer to the ring toss and caused her to lose her grip on the nunchucks. For the adult male division, third place went to Tage Harrington. Tage was blazing through the course and was actually on pace to take first place for the qualifier. However, when he reached the final obstacle of the course, he experienced a real heartbreaker by going down on the spider flip. The good news is that he qualifies for the World Championship in February. In second place was Darren Perez. Even though Darren ran through the course at a slower pace than Tage, he did something that Tage couldn't do, complete the whole course, which is more important when it comes to the National Ninja League. Darren finished the course in 2 minutes and 39.18 seconds.
And in first place among this elite group of competitors was none other than Brian Rambo. Brian soldiered through the course, including some skips along the way, and he completed the whole thing at a time of 2 minutes and 1.66 seconds. Brian has now officially qualified for the World Championship in February. Uh, unfortunately, we don't have the footage for Warrior Sports, so I will go over the results for you right here. For the adult female division, in first place was Lily McCoy, who completed the Lachey cliffhanger. And for the adult male division, in third place was Nathaniel Cross, who completed uh, the pegboard. In second place was Aaron Easterling, who completed Precision. And in first place was Johnny Wilder, who is the only person to complete the course. Now let's finish up this week with the results of Obstacle Warriors. For the adult female division, in third place was Lauren Keen. Lauren was able to get past the tricky teeter-totter and the cliffhanger section, but when faced with the bowling alley, she unfortunately couldn't make the transfer to the bowling pins from the bowling ball, and she lost her grip and fell on the course. But the good news is she qualifies for the World Championship in February. In second place was Christine Brophy. Christine was able to get past the bowling alley and even a couple more obstacles afterwards. However, she was unable to figure out the ring toss and ended up losing her grip after struggling to move through the obstacle. And in first place for the adult female division was Sarah Beckman. Sarah officially qualified for the World Championship by going further in the course than any other female by completing the ring toss. Unfortunately for her, she immediately failed the next obstacle when she couldn't keep her body positioned through the body prop. Obstacle Wars had a rather brutal course. In third place for the adult male division was Joshua Lewis. Joshua was able to complete 10 of the 14 grueling obstacles, but unfortunately he was unable to maintain his grip on the book holds. In second place was Jacob Cantrill. Somehow, Jacob was able to find the power and strength to get through the book holds and was even able to complete the salmon ladder afterwards. Unfortunately, obstacle 13 was the dreaded vertical limit and Jacob just immediately went down on the obstacle, but a strong performance nonetheless. And in first place for the adult males was none other than Matthew Day. Matthew looked like he was having the best day ever on the course as he was able to get through the books flawlessly and seemingly effortlessly and then was able to complete the vertical limit and make an easy transfer up the wart wall to complete the course in a time of 4 minutes and 22.83 seconds. He earns 10 more points to his season total.
please subscribe. Watch full runs. I need to lie down. Thanks for watching.